Do you think that it's just aviation which is keeping the Philippines from getting more tourists? I think that's a large part of it. The seats aren't there. Mm -hmm. People have pulled out capacity from the marketplace. Uh, we're half the size we used to be. Uh, just about all the European carriers have pulled out bar one and they've just reduced their direct services to Amsterdam. So uh, it's a problem. I think that uh, policies that have been in place have really supported other hubs, other neighboring countries' hubs. So they've grown those hubs. So they're now offering sort of spoke service to the Philippines from those hubs. It's strengthening the other countries' hubs. The other countries are leveraging those hubs to compete for the same leisure tourists that the Philippines is interested in having. So what do we end up getting at the moment? Just crumbs then? Well, you're getting, you're getting what somebody else doesn't want, yes, for the most part. Mm -hmm. They have plenty more access and they're using the long-haul access to have more additional short-haul flights so they can service the Philippines that way. But they're the ones who have non-stop service to a whole range of European and US destinations. And the Philippines has left their Short with very little long haul service. Okay. Right. So, you know, they're strengthening their own hubs and then leveraging that to attract tourists that the Philippines would be very interested in now. So, where does the, I mean, given the, the uh, target of the government to double the tourist arrivals by 2016, and given the challenges in the aviation sector right now and its promises to address them, um, do you think we can, we're, we're actually not late to still catch up given the hubs and spokes uh, system already in place? There's a lot of work to be done. I mean, you've got to have night landing capability in regional airports. You've got to develop Clark. You've got to uh, improve the utilization of NAIA by taking out general aviation and aviation schools. There's a number of steps that can be taken. And I think these have been identified and are being worked on. So uh, you know, there's some hope that they can make those targets. Been, there have been some talks about the transfer to Naia 3. How is that coming along? Yeah, I'm reading in the press the same as you are. Probably what you're writing, that uh, it won't happen until 2000 and 2013, I think, that uh, they're now looking at uh, moving some carriers across to T3. Mm -hmm. you know, we're having our own discussions with the airport authority. We've given them a list of things that we would like to see happen to T3 before we move in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'll see how long it takes.